Assalamu alaikum. My name is Darius and this is the world that was. This week I'm going to be making a very simple party dish, as recorded by a Syrian writer in the 13th century. Though the dish is described very literally as gourd dish, it is in fact a delightfully savory and very crunchy snack that can be served at parties alongside a very simple yet very nutty dipping sauce. Thanks again to Charles Perry for the translation of the original Arabic. In any case, let's now take a look at the world that was. To begin making this dish, we need to grind up about a half a cup's worth of walnuts into a very fine powder. Do this alongside a tablespoon of cumin seeds and a tablespoon of coriander seeds. Finally, mince some fresh mint. All of these ingredients are native to the region in question, i.e. the Near East, and were used throughout history to today, and pair together very well. In order to finish making the sauce, simply pour about a cup and a half's worth of tahini paste into a bowl, alongside your crushed walnuts, ground cumin, and ground coriander. Tahini is made from crushed sesame seeds, and is very popular in the region today. For good reason, it's delicious. Next, squeeze in the juice from half a lemon and add it to the sauce, before chopping in your chopped mint and mixing it up. Taste this when you're done to see how bitter it is. If it's too dry or too sour, add a little bit of honey in order to loosen things up a little bit. But make sure you do this to taste, mind you. When your sauce is done, we need to deal with the gourd. A common issue in antiquity is the ambiguity over the translation of gourd. As many gourds we see today come from the New World, such as the Americas. However, bottle gourds, calabash, and courgette, or zucchini, were commonly cultivated in the Mediterranean in the medieval period, with evidence for the courgette dating back to the Hellenistic period, and probably before, but it's tenuous. So for this, I'm using a courgette, as it's easier to deal with. Slice this into thin segments, each one about as thick as your little finger. When you've cut the segments, coat them in flour before placing them into a pan filled with sesame oil and placed over a high heat. They should foam up a little bit, depending on the water content of your courgette, but it should be fine. Let these fry for a minute or two, or until they're golden brown on one side, before flipping them over and letting them brown on the other side for the same amount of time. When they're done, place them on some paper towels, or a rack, to drain off excess oil for a minute. Plate them up with some of your dipping sauce and dig in. The finished dish is very light and crisp, and pairs wonderfully with the nuttiness of the sauce. The thinner segments act more like modern day crisps, or chips depending on where you're from, and are a fantastic side dish to have at any medieval party that you're heading off to. Though I opted for using a courgette here, the original recipe states that you would have to remove the rind of the gourd, which obviously suggests that bottle gourds were probably intended to be used here. This would mean that the segments would have to have been cut thicker than I did here, in order for the sliced calabash to retain its shape and texture. In any case, I hope you all enjoyed this very quick look at the world that was. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like on this video, or possibly subscribing to my channel for some more ancient recipes. If you want to support me directly, there's a link to my Patreon in the video description. Thank you again for watching.